All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. Um, had a few friends come by yesterday as I was putting it on timing. I had to chop it up with them for a little bit. So this will conclude the timing and oil pump video. Uh, you'll see a few pieces from yesterday and then today where we finish off and show you exactly how to do it on your own. So I hope you're enjoying this channel. I hope you're enjoying these DIYs. And I appreciate all the comments that you guys uh, post down in the section because it means a lot. It means that I'm actually affecting your lives. I'm actually beneficial to you. So keep the comments coming. Keep them positive, man. Uh, and that's it. So let's start gunning. It is currently 6.51 in the morning. I got here at 6 o'clock in the morning. I started to clean up a little bit. And then right after this, I'm just going to overhaul the shop and just start getting it in so without further ado let's start gunning all right all right now all right guys all right guys all right all right so all right all right guys yep all right all right guys all right all right so okay boys you got something to say 40 Hi. Okay, so K20 oil pump chain. This is your part number. Let it focus. There it is. That's your part number. I'll read it out loud. 13441-PCX-004. Come on. Good. So there's no really, uh, there's no dot marks on this, like the uh, the oil, uh, the timing chain. So we just, we just simply put this on. So here, we'll go around to the, to the gear. Oh, I messed up, I messed up. You have to loosen this and then turn it over. Okay, I messed up. I got you. Bear with me. Yep. Live and you learn. Moving so fast, right? I got my 12s here. Apologies. I'm glad that happened, though. You get to see me make mistakes. I like it. All right, so... Let's go here first. And then go on the gear. Lift this 12 up, lift this 12 up. Good, all right, so chain is on. Put our 12s back and our 10, we'll go to the next one. Okay, so remember how I told you this is spring loaded? So we get one 10 mil in. Let's try to get this one in first. There it is, sweet. Grab our second one. Let's get that guy in there on the oil pump. Just gotta give it a little tension, you just push it forward. And that would be the last one. And that's it. Tighten these three tens up. Go through it by hand, just to make sure everything's good. Perfect. So that guide is on, and then our second guide, the K21. is here. So the face is up. Hex key. It's in. Second one. 
That's in. Use this guy. Use the walkie. Okay. And then by hand. Oil pump is done. Windage tray goes next. Flip the motor around. Set it on timing. Finito. All right, so last thing is the windage tray. Um, K-Series part number, Honda. It is 11221-PNC-000. There is your part number. K-20 windage tray. Open this guy up. See if we can push this dipstick out. Out of the way. Okay. So, flips over this way. Oh, did I move the camera too much? I'm sorry. So, flips over this way. That 12 that we put in, you're going to see where the slot goes for it. And that's it. Remember those 10 millimeters I told you to hold on to from the other windage tray? Same ones. Thread those in by hand first, and then we tighten them up. So everywhere you see this port for a 10, you put it on. Okay, so a few minor details, right? So we need a 14 on the exhaust cam gear, we need a 17 on the intake cam gear, and we need a 19 at the bottom end, obviously. So the first thing that we do is line up these two dots, up here and up here. They face up. The two lines, they go across from each other. So dots up, dots up, lines from each other. We'll talk about the chain in a second. So what I did was, you lock the cams right here in this position. So as you turn that to bring the dot up, you'll see a slot to where you can put something in there to hold it in place. In this case, I used a rivet on this end and I used the number four hex key on this end. Get you some better lighting. Very easy. So line up the top, lock them in on this side, and then you move on. Okay, so time and chain. You're gonna have four links at the top that are black, right? So you have these two that go exactly on the dot. Very important, right there. That's intake, I mean, that's exhaust, I apologize. This is intake. So two black links, two sets of black links, and then you have your bottom one that lines you up. Let's see if I can get you, uh, let's see if it helps out a little bit. Hold on, let me get you a light. Bear with me, let me get you a light. Okay, let's see how this helps. Perfect, okay. Can we hang this up right here? Let's see if that helps. Okay, so on the actual gear, let it focus. On the actual gear, you will see this dot right there. And this black link, goes into that right there. Now you're on timing. Make sure that your arrow is TDC. So we line that up. Now we're at top dead center. And then down here, we attach that black link to that black to that dot on the actual uh, gear itself. So then now we're on full timing. Top dead center here. Top dead center here. And then we have our links lined up. And then now we'll add the tensioner and complete it. Okay, so now that we have our marks all set on our chains, our cam gears are facing to where they need to be, and we're at TDC down here, we're going to line up this, this chain on the bottom where the, where the dot goes to the black link. Sometimes when it's a fresh chain, it's gold. Newer models, newer models of the chain were gold, so you'll get gold marks up here one gold mark down there so in total in the link colored uh differences is five two two one 
So I line up this guy here. I'm all set. I'm going to push this guide forward. I'm at TDC down here. And now I install the tensioner. I had a fresh tensioner in the back, so I just put a new one. I do suggest changing the tensioners. Um, if these fail, you're in big trouble. So we just line up these tens here. Make sure it's inside the guide. There it is. Okay. Hand thread in here. Hand thread in here. Let's get our gun. Nice and easy. Then we finish by hand, obviously. This vein stand is awesome. This vein uh, cruiser is awesome because I get to keep all my tools at the bottom. I'm, I'm mobile, I'm moving around. So by hand, nice and easy. Set. Set. Now before we move on from this part, let's put this top guide on so it doesn't jump. So we'll grab this top guide. We get a 12 here. Snug this top guide on. Okay, how we looking? We're all set. I'll take a little break, soak this information in, and I'll be right back. Okay, now, so you have everything in place. You've got your links lined up to your dots. You've got your link lined up down here. We're gonna release this tensioner. We're gonna give it a little bit more tension, and then we're gonna rotate, but we're gonna remove the pins in the back. So here we go. There's our tension. I'm gonna grab a flathead, and I'm just gonna give it a little bit more tension so it doesn't jump any teeth. So you just push straight forward, you'll hear the tensioner click. There it is. There, we're tight. Remove here. We'll rotate the motor. Remember the pins in the back, we'll take those out. Just move this a little bit so it could free up. Got one pin out. Just all right. Both cam holders are out. Now we'll just spin and make sure nothing jumps. I think it needs more tension. So let me just give it a little bit more tension. butter. Everything is spinning accordingly. This, this motor has some good compression. So now let's line it up TDC and make sure we line up up there also. So we have our arrow here. Money. Arrow here, dots are facing back up. You'll never get really the links to line up again where it'll be two here and then the one down there, but you're pretty much set. I hope this was uh, informative. So there's one more last thing I'd like to do and I'll cut into that clip now. 40's here. Okay, so before we're all finished here, I'd just like to add this uh, timing chain guide. It's just a little bit protector just in case it jumps timing. 
it just prevents that. So um, we'll remove, the, we're actually only replacing the bolts and adding this. So I'll take these guys off here. We're basically just replacing the factory bolt into this bracket. Just line that up with the guide. We're going to give it a little bit of tension pulling forward. Send these guys in. And if anybody's ever wondering about torque specs, I'm pretty good with my hand. Like I, I've been doing it for a long time. These are about nine pounds. These are about nine pounds for the tensioner and um, the guy for the chain. Like I said, I've, it's just, you know, you acquire it through experience, you know? So just bind this down. Just protection. That's all it is. And I think this thing is like 20 bucks. Why not? all set good tension on the chain everything is sturdy everything is lined up and um, we're looking good I'll finish off with a recap and I'll end this video okay so um, you learned how to do your own timing Take some practice, try it, understand it. You don't have to be, you don't have to nail it the first time. I've made plenty of mistakes building motors. Take your time, learn from your mistakes. We made mistakes in this video and we learned from it. So um, you now understand how to put a K-Series on timing, how to modify a Type S oil pump and how to do everything in that sort. So, um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. I hope all of you gunners are successful. And I appreciate all of you for your support. Um, keep gunning. Like, comment, subscribe.